Welcome everyone to this special non-spoiler Justice League review. I'm your host Alex Figueroa and, 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 and I'm Pablo. All right, so the Justice League, today's the Justice League day. It finally okay. came upon us. After talking about it for months and months and months. Yeah, ranting and raving, reading all the reviews, all the embryo thing and, and all the, the controversy. Yes. Everything. So mm -hmm. I'll let you go first because you saw okay. it Thursday night. Uh, more, yes. uh, afternoon, right? I saw it last night. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. I went to a Thursday night um screen. No, it wasn't a screen. Uh, actually it was released to the public. So I saw it last night. All to right. a packed audience. All right. So the what place what, was packed. So what's your reaction? All right, my initial reaction was that I loved it. I thought the movie was good. I really enjoyed it. And remember, I the trailer I hated. I hated Batman v Superman. You guys know that. Um, and Suicide Squad is just... Uh, but I am a fan of Man of Steel. But still, though, I felt that the DCU was... Uh, oh, and of course, Wonder Woman, I thought it was excellent. But still, the, the Zack Snyder-led or directed films... Um, for the most part, were I thought um, were not good, and they, and going into this one with all its problems and everything, I thought that this one was just going to um, be terrible, and I was pleasantly surprised. Um, I'm just going to focus mostly on um, on the good things. Then I'll talk a little bit about some of the issues I had, but they 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 weren't major. Like it didn't spoil the movie for me. Um, I thought that the chemistry, uh, well, the Justice League was about Justice League. It was about them, and that's what worked. the The interaction with them, the dynamics with them, the interaction with Batman and and, and Wonder Woman worked. The introduction of the of the, uh, the three new characters, I thought worked. I was afraid of Aquaman, and Aquaman w was excellent. He was not the the, the dumb jokes, the one liner. Um, that we saw in the trailers, um, he actually had depth and character, was serious, and I thought that worked for me. Um, Flash, which everyone says stole the show, I thought was very good. He didn't really steal the show for me. I thought he was very good, and I thought that Flash was us. Um, you know, you always have, you always associate yourself with a character in a movie um, where we kind of go through the journey with them, and I thought the Flash was that for the audience. Um, he was fresh out of water. He had no experience. He didn't know what this was about. So we were able to associate and relate with him, um, and that worked. So, uh, so the Flash was like our, you know, us seeing Justice League through his eyes. Um, the surprise hit for me was Cyborg. Okay. Cyborg was excellent. The actor, the 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 he, he for me, he's the one who had the most depth in terms of his backstory. And it worked. Um, and remember, I, I'm not a fan of Cyborg in terms of the comics or the the, the cartoons or, or any of the, the, the TV shows. I was never a big fan of Cyborg. So going into this, I was and, and just seeing the trailers again, it, it didn't work for me. But yeah, he 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 was he was the 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 this uh, the MVP or the surprise hit for me. Um, who else? Um, like I said, the uh, uh, oh, a uh, Superman. I mean, obviously, we, we all, it's not a spoiler. Superman is in the movie. I mean, his, his name was second in the opening credits. I mean, you know, we, we know he was going to be in this movie. And Superman was great. He was amazing. Uh, this is a Superman that we've been waiting for, even though I really like Man of Steel. Um, I hated him. In, and not the actor. I thought he did the best that he could with the material he had in Batman v Superman. But I hated that, that brooding, um, you know, uh, whiny type Superman, but this one they got it right. So I am so looking forward to his next movie, and I think his next movie they should just call it Superman. That would be awesome. You know, don't call it Man of Steel two, just call it Superman. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, in terms of the villain, you know, and and, I, and that's what everyone was complaining about. I didn't really have a problem with the villain. Yes, he was CGI. Yes, he was two dimensional. Yeah, he, he had no depth into it. But you know what? This movie wasn't really about him. It was really about Justice League, and you needed something powerful that they needed to fight. And and tell you, Steppenwolf was powerful, and when he when he was in a fight scene, it looked cool. Um, it looked really really cool. Um, I did have issues with with the close up, um, on his face. I mean that that looked really bad. It, it looked like a video game. Um, it wasn't an actor that they motion captured, like Planet of the Apes or any of the other. It was just strictly straight up CGI. 
Mm. So um, when they did a close up of him and he's talking, that that really didn't work for me. But again, okay, uh, there were some things that didn't work. That was one of the things that didn't work. Uh, but for the most part, I had no problem with the villain. Um, like I said, this movie wasn't about the villain. It was about the the, the the characters interacting with each other, bringing Justice League to a big screen, and then fighting something. and And I thought that was good. The plot was, I mean, it was a it was weak that he was going after the the, the um you know. Uh, the the mother boxes um, again not spoiler because they they introduced that early on and they kind of hinted at that in the previous movies uh, the mother box um, so that was that was the whole thing um, so the plot was a little weak um, but it was fast paced the action was amazing the action was really good and it was like you know it was a lot of action it was you know it was it was fast paced um, and it did feel short. Um, uh, real quick on just the things that I had issues with. Um, one of the, it was, it, it felt short. It felt short. It felt like there, there was more to it. Um, and you can tell where they cut out some, some things, um, because they were, they were, they were, they were planning something and the next thing they, it already happened. It was like, wait, something was supposed to go on in between. There was a scene there that was supposed to go there, but I am looking forward to the extended, the, the Blu-ray extended, director's cut, whatever you want to call it. Um, and if it's three, three and a half hours, I'm, I'm, I'm there. Um, and I think that'll make the, the movie much, much stronger, um, and much, much better. So that's, that's kind of the issue I have with it. The other one, uh, was it, yes, it did bother me. Uh, the mustache, mustache gate. <laughs> that did bother me. I, I I didn't think it was gonna bother me so much, but it did. I mean, his at times his face was making these weird movements and everything. And you can tell that there was a, uh, an artist there trying to <laughs> to erase the mustache. That bothered me at times. Um, what else uh, didn't didn't really work for me? Um, I, I again, this is an instant take. Um, the movie's so fresh, so I guess on, on Wednesday when we really sit down and do a full blown review, I'll talk a little bit more about some of the things that, that kind of um, didn't work for me. But overall, man, I'm telling you, um, I, I had a lot of fun. I oh. really enjoyed it. All right. I mean, you know, it's funny. It's the first. It's the first review. Um. And well, in terms of the first person out of everyone that watched it that I know so far that mm -hmm. loved it. Because mm -hmm. I had other friends that, I mean, completely hated the, okay. the actual film. Myself, I just came out of the theater fresh today. All right. I don't know if I like it or hate it. I, okay. I came out of the theater, and my wife loved it. And this is the first movie that she loved, like, liked. Mm -hmm. For me, myself, I'm still up in the fence. Maybe it will change on Wednesday. When mm -hmm. Wednesday come around, when we do the full blown talk about, okay. Um, but right now I'm torn because honestly, first things first is I don't like team up movies. I don't. Okay. I never liked them, and and to be and to be honest is the first thing was Avengers Civil War. The the team that that the whole team up where everyone got together and fought each other. Oh, uh, America, uh, uh, Captain America, Captain Civil America War. Civil War. Okay, perfect example. I saw it once and that's it. And mm. and that one's the greatest one. Everyone said it was the best one. I never brought it on D, on on Blu-ray. I never brought it on nothing because I was never into it. Like I was like, okay, it's cool. It told the story. You needed to go to mm. go on. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And the Justice League felt like that for me. Like I wasn't too excited. I was just like, well, it is what it is. And I'm more of a a, a solo movie guy. I, okay. I'm not into the team up. And yes, when I was excited when I saw Henry Cavill. Yes, I was excited with, with Ben Affleck and, and Aquaman and, and Flash. But if I had to pick out of all those five people and go, oh, I want to sit down and watch these movies solo or whatever, honestly, I'll just stick with the Superman and Batman, and I don't really don't care about the other three, like Wonder Woman. Because and... I'm not nitpicking. I'm not nitpicking. Like I said, I'm breaking all that down on Wednesday, why mm -hmm. I don't like the scenes or whatever. It's just I felt like there was a lot of repeating movements when these people were doing their powers. For instance, Wonder Woman. Uh, well, well, yeah, but just be careful. With no, 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 no. I wasn't. I'm just gonna say certain okay. moves that she did repeated it more than five times, mm -hmm. and it was just like, okay, that, like really, like, and to the point that a lot of people in the front was just like sighing, like, oh god, like really. But the 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 um, Flash, I didn't like his character. I'm okay. sorry. I'm used to Greg Gustin as Flash, and I liked it, his 
his version of Flash was more grounded than this Spider-Man version of Flash because he was my like, oh my god, I'm a kid, I'm cool. Oh my god, oh, I got all these superpowers. Oh my god, I can't do nothing. Oh! And that's what I felt like it was with the Flash. It wasn't just like, well, aren't you supposed to be Barry Allen, a genius, criminal investigation type guy? Like that's where I thought Barry Allen, especially in the movies where Snack Snyder said that he wasn't gonna. You know, put the part, the TV show, and the and the universe. Remember when he said mm-hmm. all that? He was like, the TV show is his own universe compared to the movies, mm-hmm. where people go, oh, okay, the Flash TV show was gonna be more of this Barry Allen version in the movie, but it was mm-hmm. a, quite opposite. The guy <laughs> in CW is more more mature version mm-hmm. of the the Flash. So I like that. Aquaman. It is what it is with Aquaman. Yeah, we thought he was going to be the comedic relief because we all kept making fun of, like, the, the one-liners. Yeah. And, yeah, like, but to me, it grew on me a bit. I yeah, mean, he had some depth on it. Yeah, yeah. Like, he and, had, yeah, it was something yeah. about him that like, they gave him the put, because everyone was like, oh, all he does is talk to fish. And it's like, really? Like, that's all he could do? But you could see that they did more to the character to show people, oh, yeah, he doesn't need water to fight. Like, mm-hmm. he could, you know, he could get out of the water and do some things. Yeah. And I was pretty interested with that. I was like, oh, okay, he was the that Wolverine mm-hmm. like tough guy for the group. Like, oh, I'm gonna do whatever I want to do and you don't tell me what to do. And I thought it was cool. I was like, you know what? Yeah. It, it it worked well. Again, I'm we'll see the, the, the solo, you know, flash for the podcast and stuff, but if I didn't have the podcast or I didn't have the YouTube channel, I would not go to the theaters for those. I would have just waited for the Blu-ray release just to mm-hmm. come out. Mm-hmm. But the power of Movie Pass gives me to <laughs> see it without like paying the the, the that forty dollars for IMAX or whatever. So that's the plus. Okay. Um, the plot itself, I thought was garbage. Mm-hmm. Um, I I sat there going, this is pretty dumb. But the flow of the movie for myself was like, okay, it is what it is. You can see Warner Brothers stepped in and said, you know, we got to cut this thing down to two hours. So. Yep. I mean, is it going to force you to wait for an extended cut? Yes, it's going to force you to sit down and go, okay, let's see what more scenes. One nitpick I do have, there's a lot of scenes in the trailer that was not in the movie. Yeah, they cut out. They cut out a lot yeah. of stuff, yeah. and mm-hmm. A lot of stuff. And it's weird when my wife looks at me and she goes, you know, this scene wasn't in, in the movie. And she got mad because she was looking for that one scene mm-hmm. to, to introduce it, but they never showed it. So, yeah, um, that was that. Ben Affleck. Let's just let's just tell <laughs> I'm just gonna say it like it is. Just run away from the damn franchise. I'm just saying now. I thought I thought this Batman compared to Batman v Superman was two different Batmans. Um, because in the in I like and people can say whatever they want, but I like the Bruce Wayne that he's very dark into himself. I don't like this whole the way he had this version. He was more open. Oh, I'm a team player. You know, it grew on him to have uh, friends and, you know, all this stuff. I, I never liked that version. And to me, this Batman version, I I wasn't sold on. I was just like, dude, if this is the route they're going to go with, with the Batman, I'm not. I was like, just up and go, bro. <laughs> just take it now and just let someone like Jake Gyllenhaal, because that's what they rumored to get as Batman right now. Just mm-hmm. let him come in and just let the debacle continue in terms of writing the Batman. But again... I think he was again. I always thought he was the best Bruce Wayne in Batman, hands mm-hmm. down. I think he has the look when he was with the team. I felt like, oh my god, I'm you're looking at Batman on mm-hmm. screen, mm-hmm. and I thought the first five minutes of the movie, I wanted it to be all Batman. I'm gonna yeah. tell you right now, and I'm gonna mm-hmm. be and I'm gonna be really honest with you. And I said this, and you could be my witness. When yeah. Batman v Superman came out, I told you Zack Snyder should direct a Batman movie. Mm-hmm. Didn't I? Uh, didn't I say that? That he did Batman right. Everything he did with Batman felt like a Batman. And I mean, everyone got the whole nitpick that with the guns, but and you could tell this is a Zack Snyder because you could tell the shots that was Zack Snyder, and you could tell the Batman scene in in the scenes mm-hmm. were was Zack Snyder. And mm-hmm. I always thought he was great with Batman. Um, mm-hmm. And but other than that, his aneurysms, I, I wasn't too thrilled with. I was just like, oh, I wanted that whole dark side of Batman, and I never got it. But there was here and there, because uh, my wife was like, yeah, but you got to see he's growing. On. I was like, yeah, but if you really want to nitpick, Batman was never a team player. <laughs> he never wants to join the Justice League. He was like, you needed him there to be there. But um, 
overall, the, the, the Stefan Wolf, whatever his Step, name was. Stefan Wolf. Yeah, Step Stefan Wolf. Wolf. Again, I didn't even remember him until they brought him. Every time he goes on screen, I go, oh, wow, he's a villain. Because you don't remember yeah. him. Yeah, I'm it's be, true. Yeah, he's not a memorable guy. Like, oh, my God, they're going to fight him later. You don't remember him until he comes back on. Yeah, there are certain scenes that felt like a War of Warcraft. Like, if you're playing the computer version, and there's going to see be a scene in the movie that it feels like that. It's a computer animated, like, through the whole thing, and I wasn't too thrilled yeah. with it. I don't understand. And you, and you get a little bit of that in the trailers too. You do, you do yeah, get it. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh, yeah, you do. Like everything he does, it's computer. You could tell it's computer animated. Yeah. The, the thing that hurt me with Wonder Woman, the movie, because I never liked the Wonder Woman the movie, was the ending. That when she was fighting, it was behind a big screen, a uh, eighty foot screen, and you could tell it was just fake. Mm -hmm. That was the ending for me. And, mm -hmm. and everyone saying, "Oh, it's the best fight scene." Ever in a DC, I don't. I disagree with that. The the final the final scene. Yeah, the final scene. No, I, I think the, the, I think part uh, uh, act two. Which of, is which um, one is that one? The, the the first battle, and and again, this when, is not spoiler. It's not really not spoilers, spoiler, but, but, but when, it's the first battle when you see or the first the... encounter with with Steppenwolf. I thought that was the best. I thought that was the best action scene, and when... that was that wasn't like all like uh, CGI thing. You know, that was. Um, but they showed this yeah. in the trailer. They did show this in the trailer when Batman uses the Nightcrawler, the 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 the, the, the machine. Then he's, he goes up and he goes, "It's my turn." And he goes, "Do do 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 do." They show that in the trailer. They yeah, they showed that. Remember, and yeah, then Cyborg I... jumps in and then he goes, "I'll take over, Alfred." The, that was that was all in the trailer. That's the thing that was funny. I see. That's uh, again, the problem. I... Again, I have. I, I want to be careful with spoilers because, mm -hmm. um, for me, I know the scene you talk about with Cyborg kind of tells Alfred, I'll, "I'll take over." That was in the trailer. Yeah, that was in the trailer. And in Batman, but I don't remember. See, I thought that either he he took over like the Batmobile, or maybe uh, the Batplane that we seen in the um, in the last movie. Uh uh. But in the, um, in the sec, I believe it's the second trailer. You see him land, and the camera does the flip with him into the thing, and he goes, "My turn." Yeah, my yeah, turn. I know. Shoot. No, and you're, right, you're see, right. Yeah, but, but I'm saying, uh, I'm not going to talk about the whole thing. Yeah, I don't want to repeat. No, no, the, no, no, the, no, no, no. But that 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 thing that like, for for me, I thought that was a, well. Anyway, we'll that, talk about that Wednesday. No, yeah, that's Wednesday. But I'm uh, just saying that whole sequence, that mm -hmm. whole thing, I thought was the best part of the whole movie. Mm -hmm. That whole sequence alone, I was like, yeah, "That's that, and that's what that's what I'm saying." Yeah, that's yeah, the, yeah. That was the first, the first battle, the first yeah. encounter. Yeah, that whole thing yeah, where I thought the whole. Uh, I yeah. agree with you. That is when the I, whole. I, I said this had the best, the best fight scene. Mm -hmm. I thought it was that one, not not the part, not Act Three fight scene. No, Act Three fight scene was just like Batman v Superman and Wonder Woman. It was just behind a green screen, and they all did what they had to do. Yeah, uh, which everyone saw in the trailer when he was going, "My man," and you know, yeah, and then yeah. I don't bring a pitchfork, you know, that whole thing. Everyone saw that in the trailer. But other than that, like I said, it is what it is. I'll. De it's. I know everyone's like, "Oh, but you have more negatives than positive." It's just those are the parts that nag at me. I have a <laughs> lot of great scenes, like Alfred. I loved Alfred. I love. Um, I don't even want to bring up his name because I don't know if they showed him. In oh, they did show him, Jim Gordon, in the trailer. He was great. Oh, yeah, 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 you know that he... Yeah, yeah, he was going to be there. I thought it was a great cast. When they showed him, full. when I finally saw him in the in the tuxedo and everything, I was like, awesome cast. I was like, that is amazing. A Jim Amy, Gordon? Yeah, Jim Gordon. I can't wait to see him yeah. in the Batman movie. If that and, and that's my point with Jim Gordon. I felt Jim Gordon, um, he didn't have a big role in this. And he's going to have a bigger role in the movie. Yeah. Exactly. That's what mm -hmm. I felt that they did more of that because they did get a big name actor. Yeah. Uh, J.K. Simmons is—I is, mm -hmm. is, mean—he's an A-lister right now. I mean, yeah. you know, uh, I think he won an Academy Award for a Whiplash. Yeah. Uh, um, if not, he's definitely nominated. But, but he's no, no, a big, no, he won. He won. He did win, right? Yeah. Okay, so he's a big-time A-list um, character uh, actor. Mm -hmm. So for him to uh, for him to land uh, the role of of Jim Gordon, you know, and then have just a small small part in this, kind of like the Joker in Suicide Squad, where he mm -hmm. kind of like with, with um, and Alfred I, in Batman I, v Superman. I kind of felt no, but I think I think Alfred had a little bit more scenes and more interaction mm. with with, with uh, Bruce Wayne yeah. and Batman v Superman. But in this one, I felt uh, off, um, Jim Gordon. Um, you know, I would have liked to see more, mm -hmm. and maybe you, you we do see more, and it was just cut. Mm 
Could be. Him um, yeah. But I do like the fact that they that he was just there enough to tease for the Batman solo movie. Yes. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I, I definitely agree with that. Yeah, I, I thought Jim Gordon was... Amy Adams was great as like uh, Lewis Lane and Dana... What's her Lewis name? Lane. Um, uh, Superman's mom. Uh, Dana yeah. Lane? That's her Diana name, right? Lane. Diana, Diana Lane. Diana. She was amazing. I, I thought there was a lot of emotional parts with her. Yeah, it, and, it, it, the dynamics and the interactions were so. Yeah, it was uh, all around. Uh, we're gonna end this now. All around, it was a great experience. Uh, that's what I'll say. It's a great experience for the DCEU. Um, in terms of, is it better than Suicide Squad? Yes. Is it no, better than Batman? <laughs> yeah. Is it better than Batman v Superman? Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, to me, is it better than Wonder Woman? No, they're both in the same. In the uh, same playing field for me, but for Pablo, Wonder Woman is still better than um, than Justice oh, yeah, yeah. League. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I definitely Wonder Woman is is one. Justice League is two, and then Man of Steel is three. Oh, with Man of Steel, three, I forgot that one. Yeah, yeah. With all three of them being movies that I that I really like, mm-hmm. and then after that, it's just you know. <laughs> yeah. Movies I hate. Yeah, one movie you're never gonna <laughs> see. Again. Squad yeah. And, and yeah, so. But one thing I would like to say before we end this all, Rotten Tomatoes gave it a forty. I don't. Di- I disagree with the uh, with it's the tomato. To huh? I mean, it's down to thirty eight. No, no it, it just jumped up to forty. It's up to forty. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I disagree with the with the Rotten Tomatoes number. And okay. I mean, normally I would say, oh yeah, that's exactly a thirty. Top critics gave it a twenty seven. Wow. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, a 24. <laughs> I was being generous. I gave it three more points. It was a 24. I don't mm-hmm. agree with none of those, honestly. If I had to pick it out of 100, I say Batman. I mean, Batman. Uh, Justice Just- League lands at a 65 for me. I'm All not. Right. Gonna, I'm not gonna bump it up to a 70 or more. I put it. I put it higher. I will put yeah. it in the 70s. I will give it me. a 70 once the um, the extended cuts come in. I might it, bump it up yeah. to high for me. If if the extended cuts come in and it's amazing and Josh Whedon's cuts come in also and it adds more story, more depth that you were missing because, mm. I mean, certain scenes in the beginning with even with Wonder Woman was way too fast for me. I was like, well, I couldn't even comprehend what just happened. But mm-hmm. if it fixes all that, I will bump it from a 60 to an 80 or 90 Mm-hmm. And I will rewatch it again, but as of right now, I'm like I don't need to rewatch it until you know the solo movies come out. But mm-hmm. like I said, Wednesday we will break everything down, all okay. the e- Easter eggs because there were a lot of Easter eggs. If you yes, guys don't yes. miss it, and we don't want to. Yeah. What we'll do on Wednesday, we'll do a non-spoiler review, and then at the end of, of, of the the episode, we'll do a spoiler review, and we'll warn everyone. We'll say, okay, we're gonna go into spoilers. So um, if you haven't seen the movie, to to okay. tune out um, because we're going to go into spoilers. So we'll do it that way. We'll do a non-spoiler yeah. with Ralph, um, all three of us, and we'll talk a little bit more about it now that we got to maybe read some more stuff on it. Uh, we'll have numbers also yeah, because we'll have the of box numbers. office numbers. Mm-hmm. Um, and we can break it down a little bit more because, yeah, there's more things I want to talk about. it. But, again, this is just a quick instant reaction. Yep. Um, you know, what we thought, we just finished seeing it. You saw it just now, like, Literally, like a few minutes ago, he just got out yeah, pretty much. of the theater, and I saw it last night. So yeah. So uh, anyway, we want to hear from you also. So we want to hear you guys also come onto the to the YouTube live with us and see what you guys thought about the film also, and give us what you like and dislike about the movie. Trust me, yeah. we're not gonna make fun of nothing because here we have tons of mixed reviews <laughs> when it comes to these comic books movies and stuff. But for the first time, I'm not on the negative side, and I'm not on the positive. We'll find that out more on Wednesday on what I thought really about the movie. Cause I might see it one more time just to give it a, just to give it a broad, um, what is it? A, 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 a good frame of mind before we start arguing up on this movie. But I do okay. want to hear what you guys think on the justice league. Uh, you can leave us comments on Twitter at wide range media or on YouTube. Just leave it right on the comments below. We'll just, we'll answer you guys. And then on Wednesday, at, uh, Wednesday at nine o'clock, you can live. Do, yeah, we're live. We're, we all be talking. You guys can join the conversation. So um, from here on in, I'm your host, Alex Figueroa, and this is... I'm Pablo. And see you later.